Good morning from live on the Eddie family farm. We finally made it back from the expo. Hey, Dixie girl. What are you doing, sister girl? Oh, I know it. You had to get away from them kids for a little while, didn't you? Oh, my sister. Oh, no. You're so tired. You had to run away, didn't you? <laughs> well, Dixie has been such a great mama while we was gone. Um, I'm going to take you in here and show you her babies. I know uh, Brandon kind of had the same video as I'm going to have today, but a little bit different perspective. Um, we obviously had to go check on all the animals when we got back and make sure we feed and water and we did that yesterday and today I'm going to actually top off their waters and just kind of go around checking on everything. Um, we did get back yesterday and we let Leighton and Kaysen go fish our pond and they just really are fishing just to have fun. Nothing like catching and trying to eat it or nothing. Not right now. But, um, so we tell them if they catch something, just throw it back right now. And Leighton, I think, did catch a, um, bigger fish. But he went ahead and threw it back. Well, while they were fishing, they decided that they were going to throw a rock at a snake. There was a snake just in the pond and Leighton threw a really big rock at it trying to kill it or whatever and I told him you do not do that you run away for right now and I mean yeah you get a little bit older and preferably out of my house you can kill your own snakes or at least just don't do it while we're you know just run away and get away from it and call a grown-up but um he said he did it because Brandon wasn't here but, and I was actually over here. So anyways, besides that, let's go check on these puppies. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about snakes anymore. Dixie has been in here all morning. We already, me and Addison, while Brandon was getting videos off my phone, me and Addison came in here and checked on them and they've been doing really good. Uh, Dixie was in here, but she likes to get up in the morning and she likes to go and kind of get a parameter and it might just be because she's like a grown-up like a, a human and just has to have a little bit of time away for herself you know we get to run to the bathroom and hide well she doesn't so she runs out a little bit look at them though they're getting so so chunky what is it are you having a bad dream she having a bad dream? They're so precious though. I'm sure Dixie will be back in here in just a little bit and <laughs> and I'll get some video clippings of her feeding them. Cause when mama's in here, they eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. But we have seven of them right there. Five on one side, two on the other. We did have eight, but I mentioned it in one of my last um, videos that we lost the runt. And that was, that was something that we kind of figured would happen because, I mean, they, it was like half the size of these other ones. And you can you can just tell it was the runt and it survived for a couple days but mama knew something was wrong with it and booted it out and it just something something that that's farm life it's just something that happens here's the mama and her triplets mama's in here with her three babies and that is the ones that's in the mama pens I'm going to, I'll take y'all over here and look at the kids. Um, they, the boys asked if they could go fishing again. And I said, all right, just for a little bit while I'm here, I got to take Addison and Kaysen. They have summer speech classes 
this year or this summer and they get it for like two hours a day i thought it was just one hour but i'm glad it's two hours so i'm not just going straight there dropping them off getting back to the house and then just about having to leave and go pick them up again but um i tell them they can fish for just a little bit there's skittles and whittles skittles and whittles <laughs> oh my gosh y'all gonna catch you some stuff hey if you see a snake what are you gonna do video and run <laughs> well i guess that's better than throw a rock and run look at all the turtles there's like one two three four five six seven eight eight that you can just see right off bat i'm surprised with us talking they're not dipping underwater some of them did they can blue or went off again oh it did but i'm going i'm going fishing you're going fishing this time you can catch the biggest one yeah let me see look at me you can tell you just woke up you got them sparkly eyes did you just wake up yeah i didn't Don't catch any turtles. Why? Because they'll break your hook and stuff. And let's see what you're made out of. Watch your brother. Perfect. I bet it's pretty easy catching fish in here, huh? No. No. I've only caught one. Surprised that turtle's not moving with the string right beside it. It still didn't I move. Him. I know you hit him and it's still oh, oh it's following. It's following it. It's it wants it. Don't let it get it. Yeah. I, wanna see what it did. I hope that's a turtle and not a snake. It's not scared at all. Look at it. It's going to come up and get it. Oh, God. Don't let it get laden. <laughs> it was following, <laughs> it was following not, it. Not mine. All right, I'm going to go back over here and check on the rest of the animals. Y'all have fun. I'm gonna hop up Be careful. If there's a snake, run away. Yes, today. Hey, Weedles. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love these young ones. I still have a good crick in my neck from I slept on the way home, which anytime I'm in the vehicle, you could just count on me falling asleep but um i had a crick in my neck i guess from sleeping on this side and it's loosened up a little bit but it's still it's still pretty rough dixie you want back in dixie dixie come in you want back in she was over here trying to get in i'll have to undo it though i had everything out Oh, she just jumped in. That turd head. It's because I don't have these wires on right now. All right, tie this back up. Well, Dixie jumped back in, which is what we want. I mean, right now anyways, but obviously we don't want them jumping in because they can get through the pen. But look at these puppies, they're so excited. Mama's back. They're like, where are you at, Mom? Such a good mama. <laughs> Where's it at, baby? These babies can smell where mama's milk is. 
She's such a good mama. Good mama for being her first time. All right, baby, I'm about to give you some help. You need some help? No, we don't need no help. Them thirsty. Look at them. They wear you out, don't they, Mama? They wear you out, huh? Oh my goodness, look at that. I'm glad they don't have any claws. That would hurt. That's a good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. All right, we're gonna go check on the llamas now. They're actually laying down over here and the ponies. I just, I, I wanted to hurry up and get in there while they were still, they were headed to mama to eat. You know, watch the ground. Pretty snaky in here. Oh my gosh, look at these chickens. Look at these chickens. They're roosting. It's daytime and they're still roosting. What are y'all doing? I think y'all are called frizzles. Then we got Romeo over here taking a nap. The llamas and Juliet's over here. You know, yeah, that's Romeo. Juliet's getting darker, like a brown. I don't know if it's just the lighting today because it's not, the sun's not really out yet but she's looking really dark are y'all napping before you get the day started huh i'm not gonna get close and bother you i'm just asking Juliet, but she's looking brownish. Yeah, hi, sister. How are you doing since we was going? Hmm? Ooh. She is. She's starting to look really, really dark, and it's time to get your hair. I leave for a week, and you go rolling around in the briars. Oh man, oh man, time to brush your hair again. All right, we're gonna hop this fence. Try not to, kinda, try not to move my neck much. Kinda twisted there. We're gonna go over here and see the goats. I know y'all kinda seen a little bit while we was walking to the pond, but I didn't really stop. There's cry baby. Don't cry baby. Got teacup. 
I think that's Pennywise behind her. Yep. And we got this Billy and got number 37. I don't know if I can name all these goats. There's a lot of them. There's the one we got from the auction when we got the llamas. Hi guys and girls. There's Brownie and her baby still over here. That baby's gonna be as big as her pretty soon. That's awesome. We got Black Bear and Spunkit. I do know their names. I'm gonna, I don't want them to have to get up and get scared, so I'm trying to walk farther away, but also come up. We know Cinderella. I was checking on, oh, okay. <laughs> Look. But this baby, this baby in between, this one right here, is actually hers that just laid on her. That's pretty cool how they just lay together. That's the cutest thing ever. What are you wanting, Cinderella? You want some lovin's, huh? You want some lovin's, huh? Is that what you want? You're so sweet. <laughs> We love you. Kind of scary back in here. It's kind of scary back in there only because, you know, they seen that snake yesterday. So I'm like, yeah, let's get away from there. But I think that is all the animals. So we're going to hop out here and... I didn't get a check on the animals or the garden or anything yesterday that was just Brandon. I was trying to just take it easy because my neck hurt really bad yesterday. I got me some Icy Hot and Brandon tried telling me to take some ibuprofen, but I'm just not one that just, I take it when I'm absolutely dying and I wasn't at that point yesterday. But, um, I did some Icy Hot, and then I did, last night, I did the heating pad, and it felt really good. And so, yeah, I wasn't out very much yesterday. But, I am out today, so we are going to do just about what Brandon did yesterday. I'm pretty sure he did some of the garden also, and mentioned how the tomato plants are, are falling down with the cages that we got so he's gonna actually fix that we're going to tractor supply i think today or i don't know exactly what he has planned on doing for the tomato pit cages but we'll get it done probably pretty soon because they need to go up not out but we're gonna go up here look at all these sunflowers or look at all these flowers. I know bees really like those kind of flowers, so I'm gonna have to tell Kaysen to stay clear. There's a bunch of them. They're pretty though. You don't see right there, there's a bee. Um, right there, you can see it. But Kaysen pretty much knows if there's flowers around or at least a lot of flowers around to stay clear. He knows to that bees really, really like flowers. We told him that a long time ago and he does pretty good. But I mean, he's a kid and just good thing he's not a girl because he's not much of a flower person. All right, we're gonna get in here and we're going to check on this garden. I 
I know I just turned it off, but I always check. It's, it's kind of scary still. All right. We have our pepper plants right here and our squash next to it. The peppers, we have a bunch of, like, they're kind of lime green looking. If you can see, let's see, like these lime green ones. We have a bunch of them though, so they should be turning a little bit darker green pretty soon. Um, we've been checking on them. And I think it rained some more yesterday because it's still pretty wet out here, like last night. But yeah, those are gonna be yummy. And right here is what Brandon was talking about. We tried picking up these tomatoes. Well, he said he tried picking up these tomato cages and poking them back in, but they're just way too flimsy. The, the tomato plants are way too heavy. So we're gonna do that. The squash doesn't have anything on it yet, but they are growing. They are growing a lot, but it just almost looks like weeds. Hopefully we can save them by the time we get the cages up. We got some pretty good sized ones here. And these cages are holding pretty, I mean, they're pretty sturdy so far. And we have our okra. It's pretty small still, but we planted those kind of towards the end. Our corn and potatoes back here on the back side. They have flowers now blooming. Right there. I like the little cornfield we got going on. I remember them getting super tall and that's when they actually were able to you were able to pick them. I think we picked a couple last year while we was in town, but they wasn't they wasn't edible. But we learned a lot since then and figured out like how many we can put them all together and then pick them out and weed them out to the other side and stuff like that. But this is our wonderful garden and I love it. All right, I'm gonna close this back up and head back down. All right, so we're gonna head back down here, but I wanted to talk a little bit about the Okie Homesteading Expo. It was a blast. We always have a blast. I mean, last year we had so much fun. This year was even more fun. It just, you get to meet new friends and see old friends. And I really enjoy getting to visit with everybody. Um, I was kind of running around helping, you know, from one point to the other. And so I did a lot of walking. So that means I may be losing some more weight. No, just kidding. I don't care. I don't, I'm not one to die. I just, if it happens, it happens. But I met a lot of subscribers, which was really fun. And I'm glad that y'all actually came up and introduced yourselves. And then I was like, hey, yeah, I remember you. Kind of like there was three Brenda's that I met. And I thought that was pretty cool because usually you'll get a whole bunch of people, but maybe a couple of the same name, but this was three. And I was like, that's pretty awesome. It's a very popular name. It also, you know, we left the girls with my best friend, Brenda. So it's just, I guess, a very popular name nowadays. We gotta meet, you know, with our old friends that every time we come down, we get to see them. And I'm not gonna name names because I will forget one and I will feel super guilty the whole time until we see them again. So I'm not gonna do that, but you know who you are. And, um, but besides that, getting to go from place to place and all the vendors, I ended up with, I think, two, two or three different cups because I love cups. And now that we have our new channel, Morning with the Eddies, 
I needed a hot chocolate cup. So I got one of those and I actually used it for, I have some iced coffee just in the refrigerator that I pour over ice. And I actually used that yesterday at the ball field. And that might be why I was a little bit talkative last night on our live because I had that plus some cappuccino. But anyways, um, we had the most fun ever and I can't wait till we get to do it again. But that sums it up for this video. I gotta get these kiddos to their speech therapy session and that's, um, that's gonna be in about an hour, but I gotta get it down there and actually help them get dressed and make sure they match and everything. <laughs> you know, just the things moms have to do. Some dads, not just, not just moms, some dads do it. But um, I'm gonna get down there to do that. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell and subscribe. God bless.